All right, Pokey Peeps. So, apologize that there's no actual audio for the gameplay at the moment. Having some syncing issues is just not equaling out, and it's not a one to one ratio. So, if I put it up 2000 and then put the other one up 2000, they're not then syncing. So, I'm trying to figure out why exactly that is. Uh, but we're just going to play some music instead over the top while we play a little game with that team, uh, the uh, um, Arc 9 team that we made the other day. So we're just going to Battle Stadium, we're going to be going into Ranked, and we're going to try a double battle with this team and see how we go. Alright, so I'm fairly sure today as well is the first day of the season nine everyone should be having teams similarly to mine without the legendaries so it should be even but again i'm not entirely sure time zones and things are a little bit weird sometimes australia does things first but sometimes we do them last all right guys so i was completely wrong <laughs> it looks like there's a another series going i'm thinking that this might be a good Ratom game to be Dynamaxing. So I'm going to be leading with Ratom and Whimsicott here. I'll have Landorus in the back with Regilecki. So we're not going to be bringing the strategy of Justified purely because most of the Pokemon he's got on the other team that he's likely to Dynamax take out both of my Justifiers users pretty easily. So the Landorus and the Avetol would have been really good Dynamaxes for him, but uh, obviously uh, Max Airstream destroys everything and he's, well, he's got a Shiny Feeny, that's pretty cool. And we went Ratom and this guy, which I'm kind of happy with. At this point in time, I'm kind of wanting to just go for a nasty plot and then a taunt onto the thing. I should also probably taunt, uh, like if this was one of those games where if you could taunt both Pokemon it would be great. Yeah, so we're taunting the Feeny because I feel like it might be a calm mindset. So we're boosting up with our Atom. The last thing we want is him to be able to do stuff. I don't think Reggie Steel gets Yawn. That gets Heavy Slam, which is perfect. So yeah, we're in a pretty decent spot now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the fight. Dynamax now and go for a Max Geyser into the Reggie Steel, uh, and then we'll fight and we'll go for a Moon Glass into the Feeny as well. So we're attacking down the Reggie Steel with the Ratom. He he withdraws. Who does he go into? Landorus. That's fine by me. I have a feeling we'll take down the Reggie um, Reggie Steel with this attack. Um, I, I, there was no need for me to attack down the Feeny. Like, it was obvious that he needs to set up to be useful, so that's why I went for uh, the Reggie Steel. Again, they're really defensive, so hitting that thing hard to start with and just whittling it down was more important to me than worrying about the Feeny, which I also have Reggie Lecky in the background, which can Oko. Uh, so, yeah, we're not, I wasn't too stressed. And we should get a fair chunk. Yeah, look at Whimsicott just doing some silly damage. We go for Max Geyser, and how much is that doing to the Reggie Steel? Not enough. Okay, so he does end up taking out our Rotom here, unfortunately so. Oh, I imagine that's who he's attacking. Yep. That's fine by me though. And now I can just go for. A, uh, I probably should have gone for a Tailwind. He's got a lot of fast Pokemon. Uh, I'm gonna go into Landorus here. And I'm gonna attack down the um, Landorus with Max Geyser and then just go for a Max. Uh, also, I caught a random shiny in Landorus. I, I didn't even realize it was shiny until I was EV training. Yeah, so we're going to attack down the Landris with Max Geyser and then just Earth Power the Reggie Steel here. Nothing on his team can Oko either of my Pokemon in the position I'm in. So I'm not stressed. I've got a ton of damage done on him. He's only taken out my support Pokemon, but yeah, I'm 
fairly set up at this point. There's a good chance that he switches the Landris back into the Feeny, uh, just to whittle down my Dynamax terms, but that's also fine. He goes for the Protect, and then my Earth Power doesn't do anything because of the Protect. And then the Max Geyser, we come out first, and that goes down the Landy. So, Max Speed, Rich Hom, I'm pretty sure speed ties with Landorus, so that was a speed tie there, so we're pretty lucky to have won that. And that was his only ground type Pokemon or ground type potential, so we can freely go for Max Lightnings now and not have to worry about any switch-ins. Uh, the Ready Steel should be going down for the, to the next Pokemon, and he sends back in the Feeny, which is fine by me because it goes down to a Max Lightning. Uh, it's probably actually going to Dynamax, which is again fine by me. We're going to Max uh, Earth Power onto the Registeel. So Max Lightning, Tapu Fini, unless it Dynamaxes, I'm pretty sure it's going down. Uh, it doesn't look like it's Dynamaxing, which is all good. Registeel goes down. Unless it's Sashed, but I don't think I've ever seen a Sashed Feeny before, and that does go down, so we're all good. I wonder what his last Pokemon's gonna be. It's gotta be that Avetal. Like, you, you don't have a restricted Pokemon and not bring it, do you? I, I, I can't see that being the case, so I imagine it's gonna be a Avetal, which I'm fine with because. I've got Raton here. Yeah, there's the Uvetal. So he's going to Dynamax that. Shiny Bacon Bird. Love it. <laughs> That's so cool. Yep, yeah, so we're going to be just going for a Thunderbolt onto the Uvetal. And then we'll go for a Sludge Bomb. We might get a Poison in there. So if he wants to make a good play here, what he really needs to do is Dynamax and then Max Airstream. Um, so max darkness into the Rotom and take that out uh, because my Landorus really can't do anything to him. So Rotom has to be his priority at this point. He's got to leave Landorus and pretend like that thing doesn't even exist because it's really not going to be doing anything. Um, I imagine him being faster though. Oh, Landorus still fastest, but I don't have sheer force on him at the moment. He does max darkness the Rotom. Can we live one? Yes, just living it. Okay, that puts us into a great spot here. Uh, and then we should be able to do like a fair, fairly fair chunk. Maybe like 40%, I think. Yeah, that's about 40%. Okay, so we get another um, uh, sludge bomb off with Landria. So we should get it down below half. And he's going to attack uh, down the Rotom again. Can someone remind me that I really need to go for a... What, what, what is it? Uh, use an ability capsule on my Landris when I finish. Because yeah, you need that sheer force for it to be doing anything. So rain stopped, electric terrain still up though, which is so good for our Regilecki. We should still be out speeding. Uh, probably not with the Landris, but definitely the Lecky. Uh, we're timid max speed, so yeah, we're, we're, we should be in a good spot. So we can Thunderbolt the Avetal here, and then just go for another Sludge Bomb. If we don't outspeed, we lose, um, but we do, so we should be able to take away the win here. Ready Lecky's -like, just a beast! Absolutely. So yeah, that was a fairly good game. This team can still beat Restricted Mons. Which I'm pretty proud of. Obviously, yes, I did still have two legendaries on my team, but they're not considered the most threatening. So, like, if you Dynamax Landorus, the genie form, you don't really get much out of it. The biggest threat about Dynamaxing the ter uh, terrain form is you can get those speed boosts, you can get the attack boost, you can get all of those boosts with Landy Genie, and really only getting special attack drops as a boost but that's not really doing them much. And if you don't make sure it's lucky, yeah, it can do a ton of damage, but it's frail as hell. Uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty proud with how that game went. Alrighty, guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you did enjoy today's video, check out some of my others. I'm sure you'll like them just as much. Anyways, 
Bye.